Hey guys, welcome to new session of Oda class. My name is Sushant Srivastava and today we're going to talk about most important question of identities. Now, this chapter is there in 9th standard and the chapter's name is polynomial. So in polynomial, there are four segments and one of the segment is identities. And in fact, why I have selected this particular topic because this has a very good weightage in 11th and 12th standard, which is based on 9th standard theory only. So let's talk about a particular identity, which is the most famous one. And then I'm gonna talk about some questions as well, guys. So you all have done this particular identity in your 9th standard. This is there in NCRT as well. So the identity is a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc is equal to a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca. Now this identity is there in 9th standard but it's not there in detail. So here we're going to discuss the detailed version of this identity and then we're going to talk about these two results as well. That is if a cube plus b cube plus c cube is actually 3abc then either a plus b plus c is equal to 0 or a equal to b plus equal to c right. So let's talk about this particular detail which tells you that if a cube plus b cube plus c cube is actually 3abc, then this happens. Notice guys, guys, the identity is a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to 3 or a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca plus 3abc. Now, if I say this is equal to this part only. So clearly this whole thing should be zero. That means if a cube plus b cube plus c cube is 3abc, then clearly you will have a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca equal to zero, right? Now, if product of two quantities are zero, then either first quantity is zero or the second quantity is zero. So from here, you will get either a plus b plus c zero or you will get a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca equal to zero. Now this is a particular, this particular identity or result is a very fascinating result because from here, what you guys can do, you can make a perfect square and once you make perfect square, you can get a result which is nothing but a equal to b equal to c. Let me show you how it, that result will come. Okay. So how are you going to make the perfect square? You can multiply by two and then you will get two a square plus two b square plus 2c square minus 2ab minus 2ab okay let me just erase this part okay so this is nothing but minus 2ab minus 2bc minus 2ca equal to 0 right so what i've done i've just multiplied 2 from here and i got this now notice that this whole thing becomes nothing but a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square. You can work on this thing with a separate pen and paper. You will get from this result to this result very easily, right? Now, once you have this result and here you can notice that sum of three squares are zero. So squares are non-negative, right? So if you add three non-negative quantity and you get zero, so the only possibility is those all three non-negative quantities are themselves zero. That means this is zero and this is zero and this is zero. And from here, you will get a equal to b equal to c. So this is the second result, okay? So this is the first result, either this can be zero or a equal to b equal to c. Now knowing this result, I have two questions based on these two identities and let's see how to work on those kind of questions. Okay guys, so let's see the first question. And the first question that I've selected is a standard question which you'll find in 9th standard, which you'll find in any of the competitive exam, GE means also it can be there. And the question says that if x cube plus y cube is equal to 12xy minus 64, wherein x is positive, y is positive, then we are supposed to find the value of 3x plus 2y. So now guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna transform this particular expression a little bit, okay? This particular expression, and I can write it as x cube plus y cube plus 64 is equal to 12 x y. Okay, now I can write 64 as four cubes. So let's do that. And you get x cube plus y cube plus four cube is equal to three times x, y, 
and 12 have written 3 so I need one more so 4 okay now this whole thing becomes kind of a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to 3 abc now just now I have taught you if a cube plus b cube plus c cube is 3 abc then there are two results either a plus b plus c will be 0 or a will be equal to b will be equal to c now if i put a plus b plus c and in the question a value is x b value is y and c value is 4 so i'm gonna get x plus y plus 4 0 or i will have x equal to because a is x b is y and c is 4 so x equal to y equal to 4 right now from these two an additional information is also given which is x is greater than 0 y is greater than 0 so notice that guys this will not be 0 this can never be 0 because this is positive in fact this is also positive and then you're adding 4 so you're adding two positive quantity and then you're adding 4 you cannot have resultant to be 0 so this is ruled out so the only possibility is x equal to y equal equal to 4 and we are looking for 3x plus 2y value so I'm going to plug in there so you have 3x plus 2y so you'll get 3 times 4 plus 2 times 4 right and which is nothing but 5 times 4 or 20 so that's how you do this kind of question which was based on identity a cube plus b cube plus c cube okay now I have another question for you guys and let's see how to work on that particular question now this is a little bit tricky question of course you can solve it in different different ways one way to solve this question is you can expand this whole cube let's read the question first find the value of this expression so i was saying that one way to solve this question is you can expand this cube expand this cube expand this cube and try to factorize it and of course you will get the answer right but this is a bit lengthy way but if i want to use that particular identity then how do we solve it okay so let's just do one thing i can see a cube over here a cube over here a cube over here and the identity was a cube b cube c cube so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna assume this guy over here as a this guy as b and this guy as c so in numerator i have a cube plus b cube plus c cube upon abc let's work on it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna assume let p minus q as a q minus r as b r minus p as c right now what are we looking for we are looking for p minus q q plus q minus r cube plus r minus p cube divided by p minus q q minus r r minus p but using that assumption this whole value will transform as a cube plus b cube plus c cube upon abc right now i have one identity based on a cube plus b cube plus c cube so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add this three equation these three equation if you add q and q will cancel r and r will cancel and p and p will also cancel so we'll end up having a plus b plus c zero now whenever you have a plus b plus c zero we know that from that identity that a cube plus b cube plus c cube will be actually 3abc so if i substitute this value over here i'm gonna get 3abc upon abc abc and abc will cancel and this value will come out to be 3 so this is how you solve this question in fact these are the best two examples based on those that identity which i talked about so get comfortable with this identity and try to solve more question or based on this particular identity so if you guys have understood these two questions and the identity don't forget to like the video do subscribe to oda class for more such video i'll see you guys in the next video until then bye bye